I'm going to go over how I flash new code onto the discovery kit. I'll be using this setup for the rest of the videos. So what you see here is, let's call it a lab. The discovery kit is connected to this laptop, which is running OpenOCD, and basically I'm going to use SSH to control this laptop. I'm going to build new code, copy it onto this laptop, then drive OpenOCD to flash the new firmware. And I will wrap everything up in shell scripts so it can be automated. So why would you want to do something like this? First it goes without saying that decluttering your desk is good. If you find yourself using long USB cables or USB extender cables or multiple levels of USB hubs, it's time to start looking at something like this. Connecting two laptops with Ethernet allows much longer cable runs. It also reduces USB load. For example, if you're running a 1 megabit FTDI and moving the mouse around and you're running two hubs deep, you might start having some issues. Now, I really like these next ones. It allows the team to share one piece of hardware. So, especially for rare or expensive development kits, you only need to set up the hardware once and let everyone access it or timeshare it or whatever. It allows repeatable testing and solid test jigs. If you don't have a permanent place for your development hardware, you're not going to want to make a nice solid test jig for it. It'll take space on your desk and you won't even get to use it all the time. Repeatable testing for wireless links. If you're testing a wireless device that doesn't work very well, You've noticed that every time you move the device you get different results. This will make you go insane because the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing and expecting a different result. And I want to note here, use over Wi-Fi is not recommended. The whole point of this is to offload the USB load onto Ethernet. If you move it to Wi-Fi, you'll start noticing your Wi-Fi links deteriorate. And lastly, I want to note that this laptop is connected by Ethernet and its host name is McBain. Okay, first I'm going to run OpenOCD on the lab laptop. First, I have to connect to it. So let's make a entry in SSH config. Let's uh, copy the uh, SSH key over. already there. Let's um, do an SSH add so I uh, don't have to keep typing in the passphrase. Okay. Alright, so I'm in there. Now, let's start up a screen. Where's Open OCD? Um, so let's go there in uh, bin. Okay, you can see the uh, blinking there. OCD is running. Now I'm going to copy the latest firmware to the lab laptop. So here I am on my development machine where the firmware was built. Now let's just bring it out from the uh, build directory. Bring that here. And I can say scp this file to McBain, let's put it in the temp directory and let's call it latest.alf. Now I can go over to the lab laptop, open another uh, screen window. This, okay. Uh, here's some command history from before, but I'm, I'm just going to take this part. 
So what is this doing? Run GDB on, so the latest firmware is in temp directory. And here we're, we're scripting uh, GDB. We're telling GDB to run these commands inside of GDB. So connect to the uh, open OCD running on port 3333. Load the elf file. Reset the target. Don't ask me to confirm anything. And then quit. All right, so we have this long external flash section. Almost done. And it's done. And the lighting is terrible here, but you can see that the target just reset there. So at this point, all I have to do is make a script that does those last steps and then I'll be able to run that script on the command line or I could put it into my build system as a post build step. Okay, I'm back on the lab laptop. So let's just take that one liner. Copy into the file. Not exactly sure where to put this so I'm just gonna put it here shebang alright then back on the development machine I'm gonna say copy flash target remote So copy it over and then I'm going to run that flash temp latest. Uh, let's just verify that uh, got to make this executable. Okay, let's try that. Make that executable. Okay, we see the uh, file was copied over. And now we're doing this again. So don't need to wait for that. And then I'll just copy that again, just for lack of a better place right now. I'll copy it here. Actually, you know what I can do? I can remove the elf and put the path to the elf here, so build bin. Let's try that. Okay. And there you have it. 